Hi, I'm Mike from the Technical Support Department. Today we'll talk about programming the Pro-C controller. The Pro-C is a controller that can control up to 16 stations. It comes with a base module for four stations and it can be expanded as needed by the addition of three station modules known as PCM300 or a combination of the base four station module, a three station module, and a nine station module known as PCM900 to increase its capacity to 16 stations. You'll notice that this controller comes with the SolarSync programming function already integrated so that you only have to purchase the SolarSync sensor instead of the entire kit. Throughout this video, we plan to cover the basic programming steps required for an irrigation program. We will show you how to set the date and time, how to assign a start time to the program, how to program run times for each station in the program, and how to designate the days to water. We will also go over the pump, seasonal adjust, manual operation, and system off functions. We'll be using the left and right arrow buttons to navigate through each of the functions. Once the desired function is flashing, we'll use the plus and the minus button to adjust it. The round PRG button will be used to change between programs A, B, or C. The first step in programming any controller is to set the current date and time. To do this, turn the dial to the date and time position. The year will be flashing, meaning that it's ready to be changed using the plus or minus. We'll select plus to go to 2014. Using the right arrow, we go to the next function, which is the month. We'll use the plus or minus to go to March. We'll use the right arrow to go to the day function, and we'll go up to the 11th which happens to be today. The day of the week across the bottom will automatically advance as the day does during the month. So we're showing Tuesday, which is correct. And we use the right arrow and it goes to the AM, PM, and 24 hour function there on the side of the screen. We can use the plus or the minus to go through the three selections, AM, PM, or 24 hour mode. In this case, we'll stay on PM. Then we use the same right arrow to advance to the next function, which is the hour. It happens to be about 12 o'clock right now and we'll use the right arrow to go to the minutes. And in reality, it's about 12.30. So I'll advance up to 12.30. And that shows us here on the screen that we've got 12.30 p.m. And we're gonna use the right arrow to go back to the first function, which is 2014. So we know we made the complete circle through. Now that we've set the current time and day, we're ready to set the rest of our program. But first, let's review some terminology. A station is a group of sprinklers that are controlled by a single valve. A station is also known as a zone. A program is a group of stations that share the same watering schedule. By schedule, we mean watering days of the week on which the program will run, as well as the number of times the program will cycle per watering day. If all of your stations will be watering on the same days and the same number of times a day, then you can program all your stations in the same program. However, if some of your zones need to be watered more or less frequently than others, you will need to separate them into multiple programs so they can have different day schedules. Another reason for separating stations into programs would be if some of your zones need to be watered only once a day and other zones need to be watered multiple times a day. Each program can have a different number of start times. The start time is the time at which the program will initiate the watering cycle. You can set the multiple start times for each program, which will cause the program to run more than once. You can have a program cycle up to four times per watering day. Remember that each start time causes all the stations within a program to run a complete cycle in sequential order. So let's say that you have two newly seeded zones, stations one and two for example, and because it is new grass, you may need to water them on a daily basis four times a day with the exception of Thursday, because that's our mowing day. Let's also say that you have another two zones with trees, and these areas may need to be watered only every four days and once per day. Therefore, we'll need to divide these four stations into two different programs, A and B. Program A can have stations one and two with the new grass, and program B can have stations three and four with the trees. So each program is going to require all three ingredients to be complete. We have to have at least one start time. We have to have stations with runtime in minutes. As well, we have to have the days to water chosen. 
So we'll start by programming the start times. Turn the dial to the start times position. The display will show the first start time in program A. We'll use the plus or minus button and put the first start time to 6 a.m. Since we want to water multiple times a day, we need to use the right arrow and advance to the second possible start for program A and use the plus button and proceed forward to 10 a.m., which will be the second complete cycle for the program. We also want a third start time, so we'll use the right arrow to go to start time three, and we'll go backwards this time from midnight backwards down to 2 p.m. And the last, the number four start, which is the last and final start for the program, we'll use the minus button as well and go backwards stay to about nine o'clock. To get rid of a start, we'll get rid of the number four start in this example, and the off position is located after 11.45 p.m. and before midnight. So any one of the starts you can get rid of by proceeding just past 11.45 and it shows the off position. Now you only have the three starts in the program. So the next step is to assign a runtime for each of the desired stations you want in program A. To do this, turn the dial to the runtime's position. Here is where we designate the length of time that each station within the program will run for. Let's program 10 minutes on each of the two stations with new grass. Do this by pressing the plus or minus button to 10 minutes. and then advance with the right arrow to station two and repeat the process putting 10 minutes on for station two. We'll leave the rest of the stations set to zero because stations three and four will be assigned to program B since they require a different schedule. You will notice that at the end of the station count, the controller will give you the total runtime for the entire program. This function is known as the total runtime calculator. The last component for setting program A is to set the days to water. Turn the dial to the water days position. Now let's program it to water every day except Thursday, which is our mowing day. To activate a day, press the plus button. To cancel a day, press the minus button. We'll press plus for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and for Thursday, we'll use the minus to signify non-water. Then we'll use plus on Friday, plus on Saturday, and plus on Sunday. The flashing drop will go back to the beginning of the week, and you'll see that we only have a circle and a line through on Thursday, which means no water. So this completes program A. Now we're ready to start the same process for program B. Let's turn the dial back again to the start times position. Press the program button to go to program B. It'll be illustrated here in the bottom of the screen. This time we are going to program the first and only start time to 5 a.m. using the plus button. Because we only want program B to cycle once per watering day, we'll leave the remaining start times set to the off position. Turn the dial to the run times position. So in the run time position, you'll see station one and station two will leave at zero minutes because they're over in program A. We'll use the right arrow to advance to station three and we'll use the plus button to assign 20 minutes to station three. As well, we'll use the right arrow to go to station four and give station four 20 minutes as well. Stations one and two are over in program A, so they won't have any minutes here in program B. Using the right arrow goes to the total runtime calculator. It shows 40 minutes for stations three and four, 20 apiece. So for the days to water, we've decided that stations three and four, which are in program B, only need to be watered every four days. Next, turn the dial to the water days position. So in the water days position, we'll see the seven days a week across the bottom. 
To access the interval mode, with the first day of the week flashing, we'll simply hit the left arrow one time. You'll notice a large number appear on the top of the screen. That's the interval number. On interval, if we use the plus to go above two or three or four or five days, four days for example, it also gives us a days left feature. Days left will be how many more days before that four day interval starts in this example. So now we've got set up a four day interval and we want it to start tomorrow for example. So we'll use the right arrow, make the days left number flash, and we'll use the plus to go up to say one day left. The zero day is the water day. The interval of four will never change. It'll water every four days, we know that. What will change is the days left. It'll count down from three, day two, day one, day zero, and zero is the water day, then it repeats back to three, two, one, zero. So we'll leave it on one day left, which means it'll water tomorrow. In our example, because we normally do yard work on Thursdays, we'll want to have the controller water every four days, but never on a Thursday. We do this by moving down to the day that we want to cancel and press the minus button to put a crossed out raindrop on top of Thursday. Other options available to you in setting the days to water would include the odd or even function. The odd days, of course, would be the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh of the month, and so on. And your even days would be the second, fourth, and the sixth, and the eighth. So keep in mind, on the odd or even selection, it's based on a 30-day month. So if the month has 31 days, watering will not occur on the 31st day. You can access the odd or even mode from the specific days of the week screen. Take the cursor all the way to Sunday and press the right arrow again, odd will appear. If you press the minus button, even will appear. Whichever you leave flashing on the screen will be the one that takes effect. So as you can see, to set up a complete program, we had to have at least one start time. We had to have the stations that we want in the program to have minutes programmed in, as well as choosing the days to water for that program. From here, we'll be talking about setting the pump operation, as well as season adjust, manual operation, and the system off dial position. We'll talk about solar sync settings in a separate video. Turn the dial to the pump position. In the pump dial position, you can turn on or off the pump or master valve independently by station using the plus or the minus button. The default is that the pump or master valve function is on for all stations. Now, turn the dial to the seasonal adjust position. The seasonal adjust dial position allows you to decrease or increase the seasonal adjustment percentage, which results in shorter or longer run times. What this means is that if you reduce the seasonal adjustment down to 50%, the stations that were originally programmed to run for 20 minutes will now run for only 10 minutes. It is important that when you are programming the station's run times, this value remains at 100%, which is the factory default. We are going to skip solar sync for now and go straight to the manual position. From the manual dial position, you can turn on a single station. Simply choose the station you want to start with, ensure that it has the desired run time, and turn the dial to run. The station will start running and you will notice a sprinkler flashing on the display. The controller will continue to water the rest of the stations with run times. If you want to turn off the stations before the manual cycle elapses, simply turn the dial to system off and wait a couple of seconds. You can also turn on a program by putting the dial in the run position and pressing and holding the right arrow until the screen changes. Once it does, you're given the option to use the program button to go to program B or C or back to A and just leave the display on its own and it will start the first station in the desired program. You'll see the flashing sprinkler icon. This will run through all the stations that live in that program. What we have covered in this video are the basic steps to set up a program. Of course, these controllers have a lot of advanced features that will be covered in separate videos and can also be found in the owner's manual. You can find that at hunterindustries.com.